Hi guys, Eric here from Edozo. Today we're going to look at a strap from Zigzag Leather. Zigzag Leather is another strap maker that's not very well known but has a decent presence in what you seek. I decided to give them a try as their pricing is reasonable. A disclaimer that this strap was not given nor provided for the review but purchased with my own money. Compared to my other reviews, this strap is ready made but already made in a specific size. I believe Zigzag makes several one-off straps as their off-the-shelf option. So the pictures you see online will be what you're getting. Now let's start with the actual review. The first thing I want to discuss is the leather. From my observation, the leather is genuine just from the irregularity of the pattern. This leather came from the hip part of the crocodile. It's easy to identify if it's a belly as it will have a bamboo pattern. One thing I am sure of is the tannery it's from. Zigzag leather wouldn't provide that information, so I'll leave it at that. However, there's a Facebook post that Zigzag posted mentioning Heng Long, but I'm sure if it goes across the range or if it still applies. Second, the strap is supple and ready to wear with no break in required. It just got me thinking more about the quality and the type of feeler Zigzag uses. They mentioned that they could make straps super soft, medium soft, and soft. They, ha they have sent a photo of, of what is super soft and I'm very impressed but also puzzled at the same time. The lining is the next thing I want to talk about. I can infer that the lining seems like a cheap leather and could be a cowhide. It also has this cheap leather smell one would usually get from a genuine leather. I wouldn't expect much from it. Next is the stitching. One can see that the stitching is not very straight. This is more noticeable where the padding ends until the tip of the strap. Not a big issue and expected as it's handmade as well. I opted for the quick release spring bar for the ease of installation. One of the first things I noticed was how the opening was cut. The spacing looks very minimal like it was just sliced open to let the knob fit in. Most quick releases I've had before would have a bit more space. The buckle is nothing special as it's just a typical mass-produced buckle. There are a couple of engravings at the back. One is a crocodile, which specifies it's made of crocodile leather. The other one is koshuma, which I believe is a French word for hand stitch. The last one is the embossing of the brand. From what I could see, the first two are laser engraved, but the brand is punched. Overall, the strap isn't bad, but competition is a bit stiff at this price point. I would consider them if one wants a crocodile and is in a very tight budget. However, other strap makers offer full custom ones for not much more and have a better att attention to detail. Like always, like, subscribe, leave some comments below if you have any questions, but otherwise I will see you on my next review.